Okay, if you've got 17 accounts that have to be reconciled every month, God yes. bless you. Because <laughs> I only have one, and it's like, whoosh, as you know, Bob, every, after I've reconciled it, I always send an email out to the, to the uh, commissioners. It's done again, you know, because it's really, you know, you know how when you reconcile, if you, there's an error, you have to find it. You can spend hours. Well, no. Well, I, it depends. If it's three or four cents, I'm not looking. Well, no. I do. I do right to the pen. Oh, no. Well, I no. Repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I figure, I figure when we're putting $50 million through the bank on an annual basis, three cents is not important. And in, and in, cor in the corporate world, it could be a couple thousand, and they just, they just write, you know, that's fine. Close enough. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention was that you said that as you get towards the end of May, you start, you know, the funds start going mm -hmm. down, and that's you're paying uh, 1.3 or whatever it was to the uh, the school. Uh, you're paying 1.5 to the school, and then I also have to pay when it cut it. Cut it, and also There's 750. Uh, that was another thing I changed. The schools used to get their money, their whole allotment, the first of every month, and then I said, well, why do you need that? You don't need a, your 1.5 on on June 1. <laughs> Can we split it? And you know, it gave me two extra weeks. Right, and that the same thing with the uh, the village district, the Hampton Beach Village District. The agreement that we have is that you cut that check for it this year. I think it was one hundred and eighteen thousand. Correct. The first of June, the first of July, first of August. But I've got to say that in the case of at least the village district, I don't know about the school system. Um, if I would, I could tell you that if you contacted me and said, "Can you wait a couple of weeks?" rather than me going out and borrowing the money just to pay you so I can put it in my checking account. And, and I don't really need it, perhaps. I don't know about the school. If they could, if they could do the same thing. No, but it just well, you see, my contact, feeling if you is said to me, if you said, Steve, can you wait a, a three weeks? And I'd say, yeah, I'd rather ah. do that than, yes, I'm not kidding. <laughs> rather than you going out and borrowing money. I mean, it's my taxpayer's money, too. So... But you see, my feeling is, I, I must say, I am the school district treasurer also. Exactly. So I wear both hats. Mm -hmm. But my feeling is, is their year end is June 30. And all of the money from the town should be in their account by the end of June. Mm -hmm. okay. you know, and, and, I, and I will be honest, I get paid every other week or every, twice a month from the town for the school, but I may hold their check. Um. Okay. Until I think they need I see. it. Yeah. But, then by the end of, but then by the end of June, it's they do working have it together. All. Everybody working together. It is no. working together, yeah. and you know, and that's Excellent. years ago. It, I think it was more and more important with interest rates, you know, as far as borrowing and all of that. But it, it is working together. You know, I I don't need seven hundred and fifty-eight thousand dollars for the school district every other week. Mm -hmm. But it all of it is in there by the end of June. Right. Okay, thank you very much for coming in tonight. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet finally. you. <laughs> Don't ask any questions. <laughs> <laughs>